So 4 over 25. 4 over 25. Right. And I wanted to say something over 100. I want that so much because if I got it to over 100, I'd be in good shape. Times what? Four times. Yeah. Wait, so, so can, this number, can this number go over 100? It will once we're done multiplying. So what I want you to do is I want you to not look at this and just tell me 25 times what is 100? Four. Correct. Because there are how many quarters in a dollar? Correct. I'm putting four down. So we multiply four here. So it's up. Uh, uh, that will. But if we multiply the bottom by four, should we multiply the top by four? Yes. Yes. And, huh? Good, nice, he's on it. 16. 16. So four out of 25 is what percent? 16. 16%, look at you, man. Good job. Yeah, you're doing it. Totally doing it. Okay. Now here's another one that's a kind of a challenge because sometimes we can't multiply to make directly into 100. And that's this guy, three over eight. Yeah, crazy, right? I'm already telling you that we can't really multiply eight by something to get 100. Well, it's not a whole number, right? It's not a whole thing. So can you make a guess what we would need to multiply by? Have you ever done long division at school? No? OK, man, this is really cool because it's like you haven't seen this before, but you're still getting it. A times something equals 100. Correct. You phrased the question correctly. That's right. A times 13. A times 13. Let's find out. I don't know. Can we find out together? So A times 13. 13 times 8. So what's 3 times 8? 24 is right, 4, 2 goes here, and then 1 times 8 is 8, plus 1 is, or plus 2, is, what, is 10. 10. Oh wow, look how close you are, look how close you are, you're, li you're a little over, right? Yay. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you out from this point, because you did the hard work, you did the hard thing. So you realize that it's basically just, is it more or less than 13 then? It's less, it's less than 13, that's right, it's less than 13. It's 4 less, right? four or less. So here's a question for you. Four is how much of eight? Wait, what? what fraction of is four out of eight? How much is four out of eight? Is it like two? Yeah, you mean like times two? Yeah. Is it is it like a half? Is yes, it a half? Yes, it's yes. a half, it's right? A, it's half of eight. It's half of eight. That's right. So you know what I did? I don't need 13 eighths. Mm -hmm. I don't need 13 eighths. How many eights do I need? Four. Well, I need a little less than 13. Oh, yeah. How many? Say that. 12. 12. And if I did 12, mm -hmm. let's do 12. Do a 12 over here. 12 over, 12 times eight. Do that, two times eight is? Two times eight is 16. 16. Eight times one? Eight. Oh. Plus one is? One. Nine. <laughs> Nine, right, good job, good job. You're doing good. 96. 96, oh! oh. Okay, so, wait. 12 point what, man? 12.5? That's right. We need another half eight. We need another half eight. So you got it. Yeah. Wait. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Wait, 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 wait. But, but if we didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to equal. It will. So you got a half the eight. Yeah, half the four. You have to eight and make it a four. You totally get it. That's right. You have to make it a four. It needs four more. Another half of eight. So you make it. That's right. That's totally right. I'm going to do the top now. How do we? Oh, okay. So times 12.5, right? Times 12.5. All right, I have a fun trick for this, okay? What's three times 12? 36. 36. Got it. Three times 12 is 36. What's three times a half? Or half of three? Half of three. 
Three halves. Three halves. Yeah. Um, What's half plus half plus half? More. What's half plus half plus half? Nine. Want to see it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. What's 0.5? You're totally cool. Half That's why you're here. Plus half? Yeah, 0.5 times 0.5 One, plus. 1.5. 1.5. You do know. Do you realize that like five seconds ago you said you don't know, then you said 1.5? Just saying. I'm just saying. You're just like, you're like, I don't know. 1.5. <laughs> Good job, dude. 1.5. So 36 plus 1.5. What is it? Okay, so then it'll be nine, and then you go. Add them up. Add them up. It won't be forty-two. I don't know. What's thirty-six plus a dollar fifty? Wait, wait. Thirty-six plus a dollar fifty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ninety-nine dollars. Try again. Thirty-six plus one. No. Not. Thirty-six plus one is thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. 37.5, all right, last question then. 37.5 over 100 is what percent? 37. 37.5. 37.5, nice, well done. All right, well done, man, pound it out. Give him a hand, you guys. That was great. So this is a really important question, like in life. If there's some job, let's say a $50,000 job, or there's 50 coins on the table, and you took 16 of them, or you took 16,000. The question is what percent that would be of the 50, right? So uh, maybe go like this if you feel like you have an idea of what to do. Maybe go like that, uh, uh. Okay, no one. Okay, we got some, we got some. That's good. So do you happen to know what the answer is? You could say yes or no. You don't know what it is, but you have an idea. You approximate, good job. That's what we're looking for. I'm not looking for a set path. I'm looking for a curiosity, just like, well, what would it be? Right? But 50% of 50 is 25. Right, so good, we're on it, we're on it. If you did 25 out of 50, that would be 50%. So if your commission was 16,000 out of the 50,000, would you be making more or less than 50%? Which one? More or less than 50%, where are we? Oh, we're, we're less. We're less. We're less. That's cool. That's cool. So we're less. So it's like, what would it be, you know? So what we did before with Trey, the young friend that was a guest here, was that, is it safe to say that if you can get 16 over 50 to something over 100, 16 is compared to 50. So if you're comparing 16 to 50, let's take this off, all right? What would that be out of 100? That's the big question, right? What do we do with both these numbers so that it becomes over 100? Times what? Say it. Good job. Times two. You got that right, the energy, right? You're like, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So it's times two. Times two. Times two. Rock and roll. So 50 times two. Yeah, math time. You're welcome to hang. Oh, yeah, you were here before. Yeah. <laughs> 50 times two is 100, there it is. And then 16 times two makes, you wanna tell us? Take your time. What'd you say? 32 is correct, man, 32. All right, so if we can get 16 over 50 to 32 over 100, we now have the percent. What percent is 32 over 100? 32%. Well done. Well done. Where are you from? London. Welcome. Welcome. I'm saying there's a lot of people from the UK out here. It's pretty cool. It's cool to see. So let's do another one. So notice I could take the structure of this problem. Instead of 16 is what percent of 50? I could say 30 is, or 21 is, I should say. Let's see, you got that. 21 is 30% of what? That's a little bit of a different flavor up in here. 21 is 30% of what number, right? Right, so that number seems like it might be pretty big. Does anyone happen to know what the answer is? You already know it's 70. How'd you do that? Um, 
Right, right. So you got 10% of the number. That's a great trick. That's what we talked about earlier today. That's really cool. So if I can get 30%, sort of like, I don't really know what 30% is. I can't visualize it. It's like roughly a third, you know? But if I divide this by three, that's what percent? 10%, that's right. So divide this by three, that's 10%. Divide this by three is seven. All right, so it's basically, now it's a, a, a renewed problem. Seven is 10%. So if seven is 10%, we can draw, this is 10%, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There it is. Thank you, thanks for hanging. Thanks for hanging. You can come get candy if you want, it's over here. So seven is 10%, that means this is seven, it's 10%. Seven, 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 this is like a scene out of Friends. Seven, 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 seven. How much is that? Say it again. 70 is right. Of 70. I wonder if they do this in the UK. There is like a formula that's taught in the schools. It's not my favorite thing. It's not my favorite thing, but I will share it. I will share it. It basically goes like this. So take that off. All right, I'll take that off here. Here's that formula. I'll put it in the context of the next problem, right? What is 400% of nine? All right, so the, basically the formula that's taught in the schools is, again, not my favorite thing to lead with formulas. A few minutes ago, we did it intuitively. Would be is over of, even put that in quotes, equals x over 100. In other words, anytime you see the is word, it goes in the numerator. Anytime you see the of word, it goes in the denominator. And then anything over 100 is the percent. All right? So we can try this. What is? So do we know the is word or is that the x? When I say what is, do you know what number I'm talking about? Yo, yaymath.org. Come check it out. All right. So we don't know what it is. What is? So you can go X over. I see of nine. Of nine's cool. That means the nine goes downstairs. There it is. Equals X over 100. That's 400%. There it is. So that's, it's fitting to me that the people left when they hit them with the formula. <laughs> that's crazy. That's totally funny. So let's just cancel out this problem and then we're done. That's X over nine equals four. Okay. And if we wanted to finish out this one, multiply both sides by nine, by nine, these go. And you get 36. Whoa, it's okay. It's all right. So yeah, multiply both sides by nine. So what over nine equals four? None other than 36. Again, though, the formula not inspiring for me. I mentioned it because that's how some people operate. See, I was actually doing pretty well and then I hit with the formula and then everyone left. It's hilarious. That's why I don't like the formula. Hi, hi, welcome. So like, if we could do this more intuitively, you know, this would be a fun question. What's 400% of nine? That's the question, right? Well, what's 100% of nine? You got it, that's the answer, that's right. Well, now we're gonna build up to that in case people don't really know, right? So what is 100% of nine? Yeah, 100% equals nine. What would 200% be? Homie, 200%. Yeah, that's right. But now I think you're ready for that, so let's just double it like you, like you didn't know, knew before. So you can double it, that's 400% would be 36. I think it's totally fitting, totally fitting as people start to congregate again, that people left when I hit them with the formula. That's why I don't like it. I'm not a fan of formulas, both with life and with math. You know what I mean? I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs>